Welcome back to Padfoot 2D Games. My name is Zach. I'm the voice behind the icon. And today we are back in Car Mechanic Simulator once again. And uh, yeah, let's see. What is going to be on our agenda today? What did I think we were going to do? Well, we still have our Ford that I kind of want to tinker around with a little bit. But before that, let's just see. What do we have here in orders? This one's obviously with story mode. Here. Another Ford GT here. All right. Well, it looks like we have an upgrade. So let's run over here. Or saunter, as it were. I don't know if I care. I, I do because I want to get here. Repair body parts. I know, that's so far away, though. Huh. Um, what about here? So what's next? Fastest part examination don't use. What's this? Tire tread tester. I don't really care. <laughs> Here's the thing. If we were doing this, um, if we were doing this not on normal mode, I would absolutely jump on that. But since we're not, let's peek. Let's actually get in here really quick. Let's get rid of all oh, this while I'm thinking of it. Hey, we got a new barn map. Well, let's, uh, let's see what's in the crate first. What'd you give me? Camshaft, crankshaft, or a different kind of camshaft in a... Is this a slick? No, that's a bearing. Damn. Both camshafts. And put that barn onto that map. We're going to take a couple trips today, kiddies. We're going to head to the barn. And then I actually want us to head to the junkyard. Fingers across to something awesome. But I doubt it. Doubt it. El Camino. Because that's been my, my kind of thing. I wouldn't mind a Mustang. That'd be a lot of fun to work with, because I'd put the biggest sports motor I could in there. All right, let's see. Anything? Ooh, water. Back here? No. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No? All right. What do we got here? Tempest Magnum. It's like an old Richard Petty car. And guess who was right? El Camino. <laughs> God damn, I don't want to fucking El Camino. Do an old Corvette. You won't say you are, but you are. Ah, <sighs> nope, not what I want. Nothing here. Man. I mean, this is nice, and I and I know that I could turn it into a Richie Petty kind of piece, but no, not what we're looking for. And I'm not looking for any certain parts right now, either. <coughs> Bless me. Ow, everything hurts. <laughs> Sorry try to sneeze as far as I possibly could from that, but I do realize while trying to get farther away, I probably uh... let's see alrighty well, that was a fun trip let's go to the junkyard, I know it costs 500 bucks to go to the junkyard, I don't get it yeah. alright that's where I found the pickup truck so I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll find something magical. Hey, maybe a Ford race truck. Again. Because it's rare. <laughs> we didn't find it. Uh, flop backwards. Yeah, I'm still kicking myself in the butt about that, by the way. And there we are. All right, let's use the car sitting there. It's never good. Piles of junk everywhere, which is awesome. Not going to get my hopes up. Doesn't even look like a Mustang. Let's see. Come around here. Got a Buick. Definitely a Buick. It's in here. Eventually, I don't care what we grab. You know, we can grab at any point. Right now... There's another freaking Camaro over there. Huh. 
Look, just just click on cars and you might find parts. Let's pop through. We'll get over there in a second. What were you? Aha. Uh -huh. Camaro, definitely. Truck was sitting here. Camaro. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out like the spots where the cars are located. And another freaking Camaro. Well, that was crap. I, I know. I will eventually get an IROC. I get it. Without buying anything? Yes. Um. <laughs> Can you believe that Spore that's come out so long ago is still 20 bucks? Granted, right now I just got an email that uh, it's out on sale for $3. Freaking love Spore. I have to spend that $3. All right. We're actually going to spend a little bit of money. I'm going to travel to the junkyard again. And now I'm doing this because I am very curious on does what's the turnaround rate? You know, could we spend like $6,000 and go back? You know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, 12 times. You know, am I willing to spend that money? Or the time it takes to load? No, but looking for a very specific car. You're going to take the time to keep going back and back and back. So I'm seeing if I have to do a job in between. No, I do not, because the Camaro is sitting here. Ooh. Which I don't know what's over there. Nice. I can't wait until actually we have more expansion packs for the game. Like I love the DLC, don't get me wrong, but um, some expansion packs would be really cool. There's a Viper sitting back here. And it's the real one, too. $26,000, we could get a Viper. Well, maybe. Just... Just very much, maybe. <laughs> I'll get my heart set up on that. What's, what's over here? A bandit. So we are talking about a Trans Am. Neat. I've actually never seen a Trans Am in the game. Camaro. Camaro it was a common car, but I don't feel like it was that common, guys. Another Trans Am. Uh, we might be leaving here with a Viper today, people. Was not intending that. Because I still want a Mustang. But, uh. <clears throat> I don't know if I can turn the oh, old Corvette. And another Trans Am. Hmm. It's worth 26. Oh, there's an old truck, too. Neat. Well. <clears throat> I know. It's weird. When we found the barn... Oh, I guess because these are scrap. When we found the barn before... It was like 46. This is 26. Now, there's almost nothing left of it. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> it's a lot of money, guys. Ooh, should we do it? Should we do it? Uh, let me see if I can find a coin. Actually, you know, I know I have a coin. Give me a second. So I actually have a very special coin to me. I actually used to carry this coin around with me all the time. It's not just a normal coin. So, and I'm not going to explain what it is. So, <clears throat> heads, we buy it. Tails, we don't. Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come up. Heads, we are spending the $26,000 for the pretty much body of a 2013 Viper. Let's put you in the car park, because I said that I was going to work on the truck today. But, but we did good. We did buy something today. Leave to the garage. Oh, well, hmm. we did it. Don't know how I feel about us doing it. But I kept it fair. I flipped a coin. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to keep this coin around me, and I'm going to flip it. And it comes to very important life decisions, and then my wife will be mad at me. <laughs> All right. Let's move you over to uh, to the lift. Let's bring in another call here. I don't want to bring you in yet. Let's see. Let's. I like working with some of the easier ones. So here. 
That was weird. That was that seemed extra long. And you. These are gonna be just two easy ones that we can do on the side. Alrighty. Well, what do you need? Everything. I I've never done this before, so I think. Let's uh let's no don't don't move don't move don't move it. it. It's like, I don't even know what I think I'm doing. Let's take the back. Fade. Leave all that there. You're going to need a lot of love. Here we go. Up we go. <clears throat> Today is definitely working on... Uh, restoration. Let's take it all apart. I think today's episode, we are going to just fix what we have, and then we might work a couple on spare parts. So let's let's strip it. Let's actually, while we're here, let's actually just strip the whole entire thing. Break drums, shoes. Sucks, because once we get this and once we finish it, we can store it before we can paint it. I can't paint it yet, so that's going to that's gonna suck. Luckily, simple back end here. Uh, wait, take off the U bolts first. Don't zoom out that far. Come on. I believe in you. Why didn't I just take off the least over there? Because I like to keep things in order? Question mark. So that obviously didn't have a fuel pump in it. There's, there's that. We'll take you off as well. Cool. There's there's a little bit more pride when it's like, oh, this is gonna be ours when we're done. Here and you. Oh, there's a still a knuckle over there, isn't there? Oh. Okay, rear end's gone. Ah, okay, cool. So this is actually can show me all the things that are missing. Neat. All right. Well, front end it is. Got a lot to do. And I think... I kind of want to buy everything new. See what we can repair, of course. But I think I think that we owe it to ourselves to, to have something new in our lives. Get in there. There you are. Uh, and... Of course, I just bought a Viper and put it into storage. I did Maybe for 32000 we can get this fixed. And if not, we'll just have to stop and uh, continue on once we make some more money. Okay, I was like, don't tell me you... I thought it crashed for a second. I was like, seriously? It's so much progress. There. I love that that's just floating because they want that done first. Over here, same thing on the side. The front ends are a little bit more complicated on these, I think. Here, there, and here. Also, we are buying just cars for ourselves at this point. I know we could just sit and, and redo them. And eventually we will, but right now it's like, I want that car. I want this. I'm like a five-year-old. It's mine. Is <laughs> that? And let's see. Get you out. Zoom out, please. Thank you. 
One, two, three. It's funny, I always said that I always wanted a, like an old truck. I'm more of a sedan person, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, something, something neat about it. And the rest can come off actually with it. So yeah, that is bare as balls. Let's get the camera. <laughs> Another happy moment here. Cool. All right. Inside to do too. All right. Let's now. Let's take you off. What else can we take off? Bed. Frame's going to be rusted, but. You know. So, can I do... I can do... Interior disassemble. Right? Interior... Dis, switch to interior disassemble mode. Okay, is that the only thing that I can take out? Something's not right here. I guess that is it. I guess that's all I can customize. All right. I'll take out the brake pump. And then the engine should be able to come out by its by itself. Well, not by itself, but with crane, which I think is way over here. So let's grab you. Let's move you. Uh, lift A, please. And let's use you. Pull out. Please. Thank you. Now you're super bear. Holy crap. Add engine to crate here. Yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff missing. I got that. Man, you look like crap. All right. Literally, it's going to take you all apart. Probably don't really want to start with a new block. Yeah, yeah I'll think about it. Let's take you out. You. And I'm going to wait for the thing to buffer. Carburetor. Toss manifold. Oh, God. Let's see. Yeah, that's enough to take you off. I'm, deba I'm debating. I think we're going to end up actually doing a whole new engine. Like, just completely new. Over here. What was a V? V8, right? Yeah, it was a V8. Neat. I wonder. And I guess I'm gonna have to do some research on this before we play around too much. Can you put any engine in any car? It's just gonna act different. I mean, like not in real life, but here in the game. In real life, it's by you know, you know, keeping engines, you know, it's gonna fit. It's going to destroy your car, it's going to match up, it's the right pieces, yada, 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 yada. But here we have just kind of generic pieces. <clears throat> it just makes me wonder, that's all. There's that, and you. I'm curious if there's any safe from this. I, I keep wondering more and more. I'm like, maybe there might be something that we can get from here. I'm surprised I'd even had that. Wheel in a good find and hopefully put it back together. I just, I know we've got to wait until like 35 to be able to get like the body back. Maybe paint will do it. Honestly, I don't really know. All right. I wish I could rotate here. There's probably a way to do it. I just don't know. No. Put engine back. No oil pan. Great. There's this. There's that. Okay, of course it's a V8. So come in. There we 
we are. You know what, while I'm here, let's get you off too. While I'm walking this way. Walk this way. And copyright claimed. Yay! <laughs> Uh, I know, this is so tedious, and if people, you know, if this bores you, I, I apologize. I, I like keeping it, but I'm apologizing already. I do like this. I don't like that I don't have to flip it over once I'm working with the pistons. Boom. <laughs> what will you let me fix? Anything? Get... Off the engine crane. Thank you. I'm just going to see what we can do for repairing them all. Man, there are a lot of pieces that we could at least attempt to fix. All right, well. Where do we sit? Oh, I have, I, I'm, not, I'm not done. Come over here. Separate. That guy, come over here. Separate. This one. <laughs> Man, I wish we could just do the body. I, I know it's not here yet, but... I want to really bad. Let's take and tell you to separate this one. Yes, please. Here. Take and do this one, please, too. So I think uh, building the engine is the more important part. And then we can work on what we want it to look like from there. Yes, please. Ooh. Come on, you. Thank you. Here, here, and separate you. And of course, we'll work on these just to get some extra money coming as it does. Thank you. All right. You know, it'd be probably better if I had a list up here. Do I still have my list? Okay, yes I do. Oh my goodness, just like broke my arm. I'm gonna reach for it, but I got it. So, tell me, we need a battery. Yep. Radiator. See, yeah, mm-hmm. Middle muffler, okay. Another middle muffler, we got dual here, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Middle muffler again, yep. Yeah. Drive shaft. Brake drum. Should have broken this up into sections. Solid rear drive axle. Good, we repaired that, that's awesome. Wheel hub. Four. That's interesting. Rear shock. Yep. Uh, that's actually rear shock. Uh, ab. B. Rear knuckle. B. Uh, leaf U bolt. Leaf plate. Scroll down a little bit. We're gonna need three of those. We're gonna need two of the leaf plates. A small rubber. <laughs> um, we're gonna need at least three right now. Make that four. Why am I reading that? It's fine. Four. Leaf spring we fixed. Fuel tank, looks good. Mm -hmm. Rear shock absorber B. We will turn that into two. 
uh, another break drum. We'll turn that into two. Break shoe. We fixed one, so. Solid rear drive axle. We're gonna need two. Brake cylinder, perfect. Wheel hub, four. We're gonna need two. Hey, we fixed another leaf spring, awesome. Rear knuckle housing, B. We need two. Leaf spring, rear end axle. That's doing good. All right. Uh, brake caliper. Uh, brake caliper cylinder. Yep. Brake pad. Disc. Vent. Ooh. Vent. Wheel. Hub. All right, in Danielle's home, that means everything's about to go crazy. Hub bearing. You can hear her downstairs getting mauled. There we go. She can handle herself. She's fine. Uh, let's see. Wheel hub bearing. Front wheel hub. Man, we've got a long list already, and that's only the stuff we were able to take off the car. Front wheel hub. Front axle knuckle. Front axle knuckle. Outer. Inner. Tie rods. Um, yep. Uh, sway link. Uh, not swank, sway link B. Uh, one, two, three, four, at least four. Rubber. Four. Um, bottom suspension. And uh, let's see, now we're going to start Doubling up here. Uh, two, make the brake pads. Two, brake disc. Uh, two, wheel hub. Two, wheel hub bearing. Two, front wheel hub. Two, you know what? Let's look. Let me look really quick. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Axle knuckle two. 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 And, uh, yep. I'm going to change that to eight. <laughs> Upper suspension arm's actually good. Uh, bottom suspension arm, we're going to need two. Um, change that to eight. That's already done. That's there. Uh, front sway B. Yep. Steering rack. Yep. Uh, gearbox. V8. OHV. And then we start looking into body parts. I don't want to do body yet. Uh, brake servo, that's a given. I want to get enough so it can run. Uh, clip B. Ignition. Distributor cap. Uh, rotor. Ignition distributor. Carburetor. Uh, actually, no, we don't need the rotor. Ow, 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 ow. Take that out. Head down too much. Let's see. Yep, carb. Four barrel. Intake. One carb. Eight sparkies. 
engine had V8 OHV, make that two. Valve push rod, I think we need eight. Valve push rod, eight. Yep, 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 yep. I've got two of you. Man. Alternator. <laughs> Water pump's good. Uh, Serp belt. B. V8. OHV. Power steering. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be so expensive. Uh, crankshaft. Pulley. V8. Mm-hmm. Diamond cover. Man, this thing so out of forever. This is why people usually cut it out, but I wanted to do one with you guys here. Timing chain. Cam gear. Cam shaft. At this point, I know the engine. Clutch. Release. Clutch. Plate. Clutch pressure. Fly. Rod cap. What we need. Oh, we actually restored two. One, two, three, four, five. Shouldn't there be six? Four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five. We are missing one. So, six. Camshaft bearing. Camshaft bearing. There's three. Oh, we need two. I think we're actually going to need three, but for now, two. Pistons. Eight. Piston rings. Eight. That was easy. Easiest thing we've done, guys. Camshaft. No, crankshaft, dummy. Crankshaft. <laughs> Engine block. I should have just threw it all away. And, uh... Double wishbone. Front spring. Front spring uh, cap. By two, by two, by two. <laughs> And it's just higher. Well, that hell and a half. Ah, so that's how much it goes into. And we're not even close to done because there's going to be parts missing from the engine. And we're going to find out as we go. But all of that just to get an engine in here. I can't wait to see how much it's going to cost next time. I will do the buying behind the scenes. And I'll let you guys know how much that came out to. But with that said, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. Um, if you did enjoy, we do live stream on Twitch at PadfootTD. We're also on Instagram. Both those links are going to be down there in the description below. I'm trying to make this outro shorter. <laughs> uh, let us know down in the comments what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave us a comment. Love to interact with you guys, and I'd love to get some feedback as well. If you really did enjoy what you saw, though, a subscribe is always welcome. It's always appreciated. It's great to know that you guys support us and what we're doing, and it's really, really appreciated. I just, I thank you, every single one of you. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.